comparisons to understand the scale of Israel's destruction in Gaza. In just one month, Israel dropped the equivalent of two nuclear bombs For on real? Gaza. And this article was from November 1st, so at this point, it's probably almost double that. And many of these bombs are so big that you could be standing three football fields away and you still might die. And not to mention that these are being no, dropped. No, the are these facts? You see, the thing is, I intentionally avoid this topic because A, it's really sad. B, it's really complicated. C, I know exactly where I stand. I stand for peace, period. Always, in any scenario, peace. So I feel like a lot of arguments people have about this are just so surface and so silly. Just cut the BS out and get to the core. You guys got to chill with all the killing and come up with a real solution. The fact of the matter is both of these sides, instead of trying to split the whole world, be like, you got to pick your side. Are you with us or with them? Like both of these sides and anyone else involved, they got to sit down and have a real attempt at coexisting. Period. There has to be peace because we have the capability of blowing up everyone and the planet. Like we got to stop y'all. It's 2023. We have the ability to destroy it all. We got to chill with being hot headed. It's not the time for this much war. You know what I mean? I do want to kind of continue this video because this is like some stuff I actually don't know. People dying this hard? Like, holy, it's just sad. It's just sad. It's just sad. The most densely populated places on earth made even more dense by the mass displacement of 1.8 million Palestinians. Israel is dropping bombs so fast fast that an EU diplomat has said that if it wasn't for the US sending them more weapons, they would have to end the war within days, which Joe Biden is more than happy to do, even bypassing Congress to do so. Wow. So they're just dropping everything they got. They're just going through the entire supply. Holy smokes, bro. Again, I'm not some war specialist, but I know enough to know that Israel's got like a decent army, decent enough weapons, and they're just getting crazy more supplies? Like, what is going on? So, despite the fact that the Pentagon <clears throat> failed their sixth audit in a row and can't account for trillions of dollars worth of assets. Yeah, where do you think point, that money's 18, going? At this point, over 18,000 Palestinian civilians have been killed. Holy and a study has sucks. found that the proportion of civilian deaths in this conflict is greater than any other war in the 20th century. They don't care if they kill innocent people, and that's another reason why it's got to stop, man. And that's including both world wars. Over 60% of buildings in Gaza have been damaged or destroyed, and that's a level of destruction greater than what Germany experienced during World War II. We are seeing World War levels of destruction in just crazy, the span of two months. This is a graph of US military aid to Israel. This is the imperialist war machine at work in real time funded by our tax dollars. This is why we're all protesting, why we're all striking, not only for a ceasefire now, but ultimately for a free Palestine, because this machine doesn't stop unless we make it stop. Right on. Again, I haven't been deeply involved in this. I heard that anyone trying to call for a ceasefire is being censored. That's kind of weird. We had a meme about this earlier. Anyone who's talking about something that's positive or something that's bringing about peace is being censored. Why? What's the harm in asking for peace, right? What's the harm in asking for a ceasefire? The people that are just constantly warmongering, why? What's the intention behind that? You just got to kind of think, why constantly perpetuate a war? Since when is it controversial to be the peacemaker? You got to really think about the messages that are being put out there and, you know, what you can and can't say. And it kind of gives you clues as to who really has the best intentions at heart and who has, you know, some shady dealings behind the scenes that they're not really being very forthcoming about. So I feel like nowadays peeps are waking up. We're uh, a lot more wiser to what's going on. So shout out to humans all over the world. For real though, I think a lot of us are getting a lot uh, smarter, more awake. We know the game they're playing and we're not falling for it.